we see artificial organs and implants so through nanotechnology we can uh, create or artificial organs and uh, implants as we all know organ failure like failure of heart etc so these things are there so we can create and install new organs artificial organs into the human body through the application of nanotechnology right <music> Good morning students welcome back to Plutus IAS so today is our 28th day so today we are going to study about nano technology so as you all know this topic is also very important from the point of view of examination so if you see uh, the cost benefit analysis also so it is high for this topic nano technology or for that matter the topics like this especially the science and technology topics the cost and uh, benefit cost benefit analysis when you see it it is more because the topics are smaller but the questions that are being asked are almost 10 to 15 questions are be being asked from the science and technology topics right so topics like this like uh, robotics for that matter robotics nanotechnology artificial intelligence etc so these are relatively smaller topics uh, the questions mostly basically will be on the applications so questions will be mo most probably on the applications of these technologies so <coughs> uh, try to gain as much as knowledge from these topics right so now we will uh, see the topic what is nanotechnology and what are its major applications right so if we see the historical development of nanotechnology so there is some history so basically the word nanotechnology it is coined by japanese scientist norio taniguchi in 1974 right so nanotechnology it is the term is coined in the term is coined in 1974 and it is coined by norio taniguchi so remember a similarity the bitcoin uh, the famous bitcoin the famous uh, cryptocurrency that is bitcoin it is also uh, we can say the word and uh, the bitcoin itself it is believed that it is uh, uh, has origins in japan and uh, the term bitcoin is coined uh, is given by the a Japanese person or institution so right similarly the terminology nanotechnology this also originated in Japan right so the nanotechnology involves manipulation observation and uh, control of matter on nanometer scale so basically 1 to 100 nanometers so we also say that nanotechnology is observing or working with the particles at the 10 to the power nano scale so we are working with the atoms at the nano scale that is at the 10 to the power of 9 meters we can say right so basically nanotechnology means it involves a manipulation observation and control of matter on a nano scale so nano scale is basically 10 to the power of mi minus 9 so when it comes to here so observing or working with the matter at the nano scale that is 1 to 100 nanometers right it encompasses assembly and manipulation of objects such as molecules viruses and atoms so basically nanotechnology involves working and manipulation manipulating with these aspects right if we see the current dictionary uh, definition uh, it is given by the experts so nanotechnology is defined as a design, characterization, production and application of materials, devices and systems by controlling shape and size at the nano scale. So nano scale we have understood 10 to the power of 9 meters. Right. So there are another uh, definitions also I have provided for your understanding. Uh, if you uh, If you are willing to read this. So you can read from the document. So the, there are basically many uh, number of definitions are there. So if you want, you can read from the document. So now we will understand the nanotechnology and its impacts. 
impacts on various fields so basically <coughs> uh impact on economy and society so it is heralded as a new technological revolution with profound implications across all aspects of economy and society so it promises a clean and abundant energy which is uh, we need uh, uh, that uh, clean and uh, you can say abundant and clean energy desperately because we want the development uh, has to be a sustainable development until now we were following uh, we can say the non sustainable development so to realize the goal of sustainable development we need clean energy and also we need it in larger quantities so for uh, developing countries like india there is a lot of requirement for a uh, lot of energy so that can be realized by nano technology similarly environmental restoration and the cost effective production of various materials so to realize all these aspects nano technology uh, i mean making these aspects possible right current applications few applications if we uh, see uh, nano technology is dominated by tools for scientists and the new materials structured on the nano scale so it is increasingly the technology or the nano technology applied in cosmetics healthcare medicine and the various manufacturing goods right so electronics and information technology industries are prominent drivers of this technology nano technology so the carbon nano tubes so these become very very one of the we can say predominant applications of the nano technology so carbon nano tubes showing potential in electronics materials materials improvement and even in drug delivery so remember this carbon nano tubes carbon nano tubes it have wide variety application so it is one of the important applications of nano technology so i mean in real life their use and applications are becoming very very important from drug delivery from the field of medicine to medicine to renewable energy to renewable energy to cleaning of water even cleaning of water and many other applications are there uh, that are that have been realized from carbon nano tubes so remember uh, one of the important and prominent applications or uh, applications of nano technology is emergence of carbon nano tubes and they their applications are very important and they are increasing day by next we will see uh, there are some commercial applications also there so witnessing commercial applications such as improved hard disks for computers sunscreens and telecommunication enhancements are also there so expectation for translating nano science into a viable products is high which uh, with anticipated realization within the next decade or two. right right so future when we see the future is also bright for nano technology uh, the developing countries i mean the uh, developed countries have actively i mean working on the technology so the developing countries like india they are also taken uh, they have also taken various measures so ministry of information and technology it is taking lot of measures so under the ministry there have been lot of initiative initiatives to increase the research and development in nanotechnology and take the innovations to the people so there have been many measures in india also so when we discuss the main topics we will discuss some of those measures in detail right so now uh, this is the broad uh, understanding about the applications of nanotechnology now we will see industry wise what are the applications of nanotechnology so as you can see this is the most important part because the questions are being focused uh, majorly on the application part of the application part of the technology right so applications of nanotechnology we will see industry wise i mean the theme wise or field wise so first if we see the applications of nanotechnology in material science so traditional focus of material science uh, science was about so it encompassed metals ceramics colloids and polymers 
so historically it has focused on controlling material structure at the nano scale so first in the beginning the application of nano uh, nano technology in the material science was so it was con- i mean it was controlling the material structure of the uh, we can say atoms right so con- contribution of nano technology if we see in the material science so introduction of new forms of carbon so graphite we have uh, i mean there was a nobel uh, prize for uh, uh, inventing graphite and similarly we have also seen graphite is one and we have seen carbon nano tubes carbon nano tubes so there are introduction of many new forms of carbon are there with very important applications next is so another application of nano technology is creation of quantum dots and wires <laughs> so quantum dots and quantum wires is also uh, has been realized to nano technology next one is production of nano structured materials through self assembly so one of the important applications is the production of nano structured materials through self assembly so the atoms they themselves assemble assemble into certain we can say products or equipment so this is also one of the important applications all right next one is very important area medical appli- applications so medical applications of nano science or nano technology right so projected value medical applications of nano science are anticipated to be highly valuable offering numerous benefits to humanity so there is we can say there is a lot of potential for application of nano technology in medical field right right we see artificial organs and implants so through nano technology we can uh, create or- artificial organs and uh, implants as we all know organ failure like failure of heart etc so these things are there so we can create and uh, install new organs artificial organs into the human body through the application of nano technology right right nano technologies in conjunction with the biotechnology i mean in association with the biotechnology uh, hold the potential to create artificial organs and implants that closely mimic the originals so basically there is a talk about creating artificial blood also artificial blood also similarly artificial organs like we can say implants heart implants are also the artificial joints so generally joints will be i mean especially in the elderly elder people so there will be a problem in the in their joints so <coughs> artificial joints can be created uh, and implanted through the nano technology right so cell growth on artificial scaffolds or biosynthetic uh, coatings enhances the bio compatibility and reduces the rejection so whenever a new organ is implanted or organ is replaced in human being so basically the body body's immune immune system tends to reject that particular organ so when uh, we grow the cells on artificial we can say equip, uh, artificial organs so the rate of rejection declines a lot right so generally when organ tra- transplantation takes place so the receiver uh, uh, that particular receiver's immune system it will keep on rejecting that particular organ because it is not what i mean it is not i mean the organ has been uh, replaced and it is not it, the body's organ so due to overcome this till now we were doing the i mean we continuously have to give drugs some kind of medicines are uh, to that person so that the body's immu- immune system do not reject that organ so if we grow uh, cells through nano technology on uh, the artificial we can say implant or organ so the reject rejection the possibility of rejection gets declined so this is one of the advantages right so potential applications include 
रेटिनल रेटिनल मीन्स आई एंड कुचलर मीन्स हियरिंग इम्प्लांट्स एंड न्यूरल इम्प्लांट्स ऑल्सो सो इन ब्रेन इफ सम न्यूरोन्स और सम वी कैन से वी कैन से सेल्स आर डैमेज और न्यूरोन्स आर डैमेज सो ऑल दिस कैन बी इम्प्लांटेड थ्रू नैनो आई मीन थ्रू द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी वी कैन इम्प्लांट न्यू वी कैन से थिंग्स देर राइट सो एज वेल एज वी कैन रिपेयर एंड रिप्लेस रिप्लेस द डैमेज नर्व सेल्स स्किन सेल्स टिश्यू एंड बोन सो एज वेल एज वी कैन रिपेयर एंड रिप्लेस ऑल दिस थिंग्स इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी राइट इफ यू सी द एप्लीकेशन इन डायोग्नास्टिक्स एंड ड्रग डिलीवरी सो नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी एडवांसमेंट्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू इनहैंस डायोग्नास्टिक्स एंड ड्रग डिलीवरी मेथड्स राइट सो दि नैनो पार्टिकल्स आफर इंप्रूवड सॉल्युबिलिटी फॉर ड्रग्स लीडिंग टू बेटर अब्सॉर्बन एंड एफिशियंसी सो वेन एवर ड्रग्स आर गिवेन टू द ह्यूमन बॉडी सो दे शुड बी सॉल्व दे शुड सॉल्व एंड दे हैव टू बी अब्सॉर्ड बाई दि ह्यूमन बॉडी सो विद दि I mean, with the application of nano particles, the solubility of drug increases. So, in this way, they are better absorb absorbed by the body, and the efficiency of drug drugs increases. Right. So, similarly, targeted drug delivery. So, the nano technology enables, or nano particles enable the targeted uh, drug delivery to specific cells and tissues. minimizing side effects and uh, increasing treatment effectiveness so for example if you, uh, we have to cure cancer in the body so whatever the drugs we are delivering uh, to damage the cancer cells they should reach the particular area where the cancer cells are located so through the nano particles we can deliver this drug exactly to those cells or to those area so that the cells in that area are damaged and the rest of the body it is not uh, impacted by that particular drug or medicines so through uh, through nano technology and nano particles this kind of treatment is possible right right so these are some of the applications in medicine uh, of applications of nano technology in medicine right now we will understand the application of nanotechnology in cosmetics so we can say it is an emerging area there are applications but it is uh, the applications are increasingly i mean they are growing rapidly in this area cosmetics right right so cosmetics companies were among the pioneers in introducing nano enhanced products in the market so basically they were the pioneers they were enthusiastic in adopting nano technology and uh, bringing the nano enhanced products uh, into the market so basically there are many products like uh, sun creams are there sun sun uh, sun creams are uh, creams are there similarly they are being used in toothpaste also so many applications are already there right so if we see some products shampoos and the skin creams are primary examples of products incorporating nano technology right so nano particles are also utilized to deliver ingredients effectively effectively to targeted areas enhancing product performance so basically uh, when nano particles are used see the delivery of whatever uh, the product we can say beauty product so they will be particularly delivered to that particular area so because of which the efficiency of that product increases right so if we see the benefits of uh, use of nano particles in uh, cosmetics so they nano nano particles improve the delivery and absorb absorption of active ingredients leading to enhanced efficiency of cosmetic products similarly they enable targeted delivery we have seen in medical applications also here also they will uh, fo- uh, they will enable the targeted delivery of ingredients ensuring they reach specific areas for optimal results right similarly 
one more important aspect is the nano particles enhance the properties of particular products right so they enhance properties of such as uh, uv protection and the skin penetration in cosmetic products so whenever the products are used uh, they uh, enhance the properties like rejection of uv uv light on the body or uh, when we can say when we use the fairness cream so they uh, deep penetrate into the skin and uh, the result will be higher right so these are some of the applications in uh, we can say uh, cosmetic similarly there is a talk about creating nano textiles also textiles also so when uh, nano te- nano nano particles are used in uh, te- textiles so they are basically dust resistant so the cloth whatever we are uh, uh, wearing so it will not absorb dust so basically there is there will be no need for uh, washing or cleaning the clothes for many number of days so you can happily wear the, those clothes for uh, many number of days so there is a work on these type of products also right similarly i have given an example so nano particles are being uh, used in the tooth, uh, toothpaste also so when we use the toothpaste uh, toothpaste and we brush our teeth so the experience will be better so because of the use of nano particles the toothpaste will be more smoother and uh, in that way the we can say we can have an enhanced feeling right so the the uh, like this many applications uh, are there when it comes to the cosmetics uh, and the nano particles are being increasedly used in the nano uh, you can say the cosmetic products Uh, next one is nano technology in military application right so the results of nano technology use of nano technology or we can say the applications of nano technology in military are first one is improved materials so whatever the defense equipment we are using so that uh, uh, capability i mean we can say we can have improved products so nano technology contributes to the use uh, to the development of improved materials for military applications so basically the products with uh, lightweight are possible but they will be more durable so the weight of the equipment will reduce and uh, their durability will increase so for example uh, imagine the soldier has to carry a lot of we can say uh, the tools or utensils along with him uh when he was on the field so when we use nano technology and create or build those products which the soldier has to carry so the weight predominantly gets decreased so this is one of the advantages so like this many advantages are there for example if we use nano technology in tanks so basically tanks are you know, tanks are heavy and they need energy for movement so if nano technology is is used their weight becomes lighter and also their duration i mean they become more durable so they can easily move on the difficult terrains so like this there are many applications similarly nano technology enhances the strength and the resilience of military equipment if we see the space exploration so spacecraft and the satellites benefit from nano technology enabled materials enhancing their performance and the durability in extreme conditions so already this is happening in our uh, satellites and uh, space crafts so nano equipment is being used already right civilian security f- equipment if you see so nano technology offers potential advancements in civilian security equipment so fingerprinting techniques using dna based nano technology it promises to become cheaper quicker and more effective so generally we know the utilization of the fingerprinting techniques uh, using dna based technology dna based technology so when it comes to payments aadhar enabled payment system is there but <coughs> for that matter we are using biometric for lot many purposes already so when we are using nano technology based uh, these equipment so the performance and the accuracy will be much more right 
similarly nano based sensors they could serve as electronic detectors uh, such as for example sniffer dogs uh, for enhanced airport security right one another application is so quantum dots right quantum dots fluorescent nano particles they are utilized for various security applications right they can serve as tags and labels to prevent theft and counter cheating right so quantum dots and the quantum uh, quantum uh, quantum dots and the fluorescent nano particles so they are used in preventing theft and counter cheating so whenever they are applied on certain products or for that matter the currency notes so when they 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 scanned or put put under a uh, certain specific light they glow the quantum dots or the fluorescent particles they glow so in this way we can find out the uh, uh, the we can say the tools that are uh, stolen or the counterfeit currency that is being brought into india so etc there are many applications like these right similarly quantum dots they may also trace the course of the drugs within the body aiding in medical and forensic investi- investigations so they can help us trace the uh, we can say the trace the course of the drugs within the human body so that so we can better treat the uh, human beings who, who have consumed those drugs right similarly uh, nanotechnology in biotechnology just now we have seen when we were study, studying the medical applications so biotechnology is combined with the nanotechnology and there were many uh, we can say applications or advantages so here also uh, nanotechnology serves as the basis for developing new implants to replace lost uh, to replace implants to replace lost hearing or vision right so it enables the creation of advanced implants with enhanced functionality and biocompatibility so when we were studying the medical applications we have seen this right smart drug, uh, drug delivery so nanotechnology especially nanoparticles offer innovative ways to delivering smart drugs to specific parts of the human body it also enables targeted drug delivery minimizing side effects and maximizing therapeutic efficiency uh, tissue repair also possible with the application of nanotechnology in biotechnology so it facilitates delivery of body repair cells to areas of tissue damage so for example uh, accident has happened and uh, a particular body pa- uh, body part has been damaged so we can cell specific uh, we can send specific cells to that area where the cells or the body we can say part or the body muscle regrows so these kinds of possibilities are there similarly it supports the tissue regeneration and a repair offering potential treatments for various medicinal medical conditions so such as in some persons the neurons will be damaged so because of that they are they will be facing lot of medical issues so through the a uh, introduction of we can say neuro cells uh, we can regrow we can help regrow the neuro cells so that person can overcome the that particular neuro neuron related disability so all these kinds of possible uh, possibilities are there with the combination of biotechnology and nanotechnology similarly uh, some revolutionary concepts are there uh, through the combination of these two technologies so advancements in a nanotechnology lead to revolutionary concepts in biotechnology so potential developments include replacement of arteries so arteries also will get damaged uh, uh, in the people who have blood pressure bp so re- uh, so in those people arteries can be replaced similarly nano fiber bone reinforcement so bone bones also can be reinforced through nano fiber bones and uh, powerful microscopes that uh, <coughs> so through the nano technology powerful microscopes can be uh, we can say produced and through that we can better uh, examine the diseases right 
similarly new diagnostic technologies are becoming more profitable enabling earlier detection and the treatment of diseases so through the nanotechnology and uh, applications uh, new diagnostic techniques are upcoming so through that we can detect the diseases early and we can give better treatment similarly we will understand nanotechnology in green technology so after the adverse impacts of uh, global warming and the climate change the green technologies have become necessary and a must so if we use the nanotechnology applications in green technology we will be benefited immensely right so nanotechnology enables the development of new processing uh, a development of new processing technologies that minimize production of uh, undesired bio products so one of the major phenomenon of present uh, development process is the negative externalities negative externalities so the by products whatever they are, that are coming from the industries we can say the pollutants they are uh, really being released into the environment uh, with the application of nanotechnology we can reduce these undesired by products so in that in that way we can prevent pollution or reduce pollution thereby we can protect our environment similarly it enhances the efficiency and uh, sustainability of manufact manu manufacturing processes so manufacturing processes will be made more uh, we can say sustainable and more efficient right similarly uh, environmental monitoring and remediation when we see so nanotechnology facilitates so nanotechnology facilitates the detection and removal of fine contaminants from air water and soil this means it will uh, clear the pollution it will uh, treat the pollutants and uh, remove the pollutants from the air soil and water it also improves responses to environmental threats and ensures safety of water supplies right similarly one other another advantage is it enables governments to respond to more effectively to terrorist threats so terrorist activities like bomb blasting uh, when this uh, these things happen so apart from loss of uh, loss to human life and the property the surrounding areas environment is also gets damaged so through nano applications of nanotechnology governments will be in a better position to respond to the threats uh, posed by these ter terrorist groups right next sustainable development so nanotechnology contributes to sustainable development by reducing the use of raw materials so how it is possible it is possible through the nanotechnology the efficient use of uh, resources can be made possible it is possible so the efficient use of resources is possible through nanotechnology so when that happens the we can say the raw materials are uh, will be used less so in this way we can preserve the materials resources for the uh, purpose uh, i mean for utilization of future generations right so it enhances the resource efficiency and minimizes environmental impact so in this way sustainable development is possible similarly fuel efficient vehicles are possible so nanotechnology aids in designing lighter and more resistant cars and other vehicles also for that matter right it improves the fuel efficiency and increases longevity of vehicles by reduce reducing denting and scratching so when nano materials are used so basically the damage to vehicles is less so the denting and the scratching these things will happen less likely so because of these reasons the durability of vehicles will improve right similarly food and beverage preservation this is also one of one of the very very important areas so the nanotechnology ex extends the shelf life of food and beverages right so uh, similarly we are seeing uh, i mean we uh, already seen the use of nano particles in preservation of ketchup so these things in these things the nanotech nano particles are being used so they can be 
used in other food products also to improve or increase the shelf life of the food products and the beverages so as you all know the food processing in india processing in india so it is uh, i mean it is happening but at a lesser scale also uh, the wastage of food is uh, around 30 to 40 percent in india so with the utilization of nanotechnology the wastage can be drastically reduced and the food processing can be revolutionized in india so that the i mean the problem associated with food we have we are growing sufficient uh, we can say quantity of food but uh, due to the wastage and all these things uh, people still some of the people are still going hungry so we can address this problem if we apply the nanotechnology right similarly we can see energy savings so nanotechnology enables the development of smart insulation and construction materials so these um, we can say materials or uh, insulators they enhance the energy energy efficiency in buildings reducing heating and cooling costs so all these are the applications of uh, nanotechnology in green technologies right so if we see the applications of nanotechnology in high tech applications high technology applications so control of light and power nanotechnology provides unprecedented control over light emission and absorption so it is crucial for various applications including optical communications display technologies information storage solar energy collection genome sequencing and a targeted drug delivery so so we can through nanotechnology we can better control the light and the power right through that all these applications are possible similarly integration of properties so through nanotechnology integration of organic inorganic and mechanical properties is possible and this enables the development of self intelligent and self correcting systems with internal control so this is very very uh, i mean through this we can achieve the automation so this is very very important when it comes to high tech equipment right similarly miniaturization of electronics so miniaturization is essential for microelectronics computing and telecommunication industries so miniaturization means uh, making the equipment smaller and smaller as much as possible so this is essential for all these industries so short term applications include optical uh, reroutes sorry optical routers large large scale displays and uh, ultra dense molecular memory so all these things are possible through miniaturization of electronics similarly flat panel displays we are already seeing in all the areas so the flat panel displays have become popular so everywhere we can see them so carbon nanotech uh, carbon nanotechnology enables the production of cool flat pa panel screens at affordable prices right so it offers better displays for home theaters office equipment portable computing tools and other applications so whenever a big event is uh, going on so we can see large panels displaying whatever the happenings there are live telecasting so all these are made possible by the application of carbon nano technology right next is biology and the photonics a uh, fusion right so poten potential applications in non -inv invasive cancer therapies laser tissue welding and uh, drug delivery and uh, diagnostics so biology and the photonics fusion uh, through the application of nanotechnology it is possible and the potential applications of these are carbon non invasive cancer sorry cancer non invasive treatment is possible tissue welding is laser tissue welding is possible and uh, drug delivery and the uh, diagnostics better diagnostics are also possible right so it combines the principles of biology and photonics to develop innovative medical treatments and the di diagnostic tools 
so these are the applications of nanotechnology in high tech technologies right so these are some of the applications which i thought were important from point of view of examination right so now we will see some of the questions that are being asked from the nanotechnology uh, we can say nanotechnology subject in the previous exams so first question it is asked in 2022 a uh, question is consider the following statements the statements are other than those made by humans nano particles do not exist in nature so this is a wrong statement nano particles also exist in nature naturally also so we are anyway a human is making them and utilizing and we have just now seen lot of applications of those not uh, nano particles but they are there in the nature from the beginning right second statement nano particles of smoke uh, some metallic oxides are used in the manufacture of some cosmetics so we have seen this yes nano particles are being used in cosmetics third statement nano particles of some commercial products uh, which enter the environment are unsafe for humans yes the nano particles so when they enter the uh, environment and uh, some systems like water bodies if they enter the water bodies they uh, become a uh, harmful to the human beings and for that matter uh, uh, for the environment so the rate of bio degrade bio degradability bio degradability ability of nano particles or uh, we also call them as microplastics microplastics are nano particles so this is less right so because of this reason they become unsafe and harmful to human beings and for that matter environment so which of the statements given is are uh, above are correct so statements 2 and 3 are correct statement 1 is correct so option is option the correct option is option b next question uh, it is asked in 2020 question is with reference to carbon nanotubes so there is a question on carbon nanotubes So consider the following statements. Statement one: uh, They can be used as carriers of drugs and uh, antigens in the human body. Yes, this statement is correct. They can be used. They can be made into artificial blood and uh, capillaries for an injured part of the human body. Yes, this is also correct. Nano uh, carbon nano tubes uh, can be used like this. I have uh, said there is a talk about artificial blood also. so this is possible through the carbon nano tubes third statement they can be used in biochemical sensors yes this is also correct they can be used in biochemical sensors fourth option carbon nano tubes are biodegradable yes so when it comes to carbon nano tubes these are biodegradable because it is carbon is organic so they are biodegradable but some kinds of a uh, nano particles are they are not biodegradable for example i gave an example microplastics they are not biodegradable so the in that case they become harmful to environment right so because of these benefits uh, i mean because of this advantage only the biodegradability they have become more and more popular so the correct option is option d options 1 2 3 4 so if you observe this question so Uh, when it comes to the technology science and technology questions you take uh, try to take a broader approach because the what uh, the technology generally it is expansive in nature it's expansive or we can say advanced in nature so some things might not possible today but they will be possible tomorrow so try to take a broader approach when you uh, do the questions of science and technology questions in prelims so generally the statements generally they will be given will be correct so try to have this kind of idea when you are uh, in the elimination process right next one is uh, it is asked in 2015 question is with reference to the use of nanotechnology in health sector which of the following statements is or are correct so statement one targeted drug delivery is made possible by nanotechnology yes this is possible we have seen it nanotechnology can largely contribute to gene therapy yes 
so gene therapy is possible through nano technology so both the statements are correct option is option c both statement 1 and 2 are correct right so this is all for today thank you thank you for joining the class i'll see you next time until then have a good day see you next time